Now, I've not used this bike much for ages, so I'm going to go camping next weekend. So I better give it a bit of a shakedown, check the luggage is all good, and the cameras are all working, the power supply works, etc., etc. And of course, I've got a brand new tire on the back, so I've got to put a few miles on it. You can, they say 100, but you can feel when it's starting to work. You can start to feel it. Also, I want to check the audio on the GoPro, make sure it sounds okay. And it looks like it's going to pee down, so uh, I put my skins on ready, but I've got to put some miles on this tyre. Yeah, the plan is, um, depending on how many people are interested, we're even going to pitch up at the same place for two nights and keep coming back. You know, we'd ride Friday, camp Friday night, ride Saturday, camp Saturday night, and ride back Sunday. So we'd get a few days riding, but you know what happens in this country? The first thing what messes everything up is, uh, is the weather. You know, <laughs> probably end up sitting at home because there's no fun riding a bloody bike in this peeing down the rain. You know, so uh, it's all right if it's like this, a bit patchy. But um, plus, you've got to come back to a campsite, you know, a tent. This is not quite the same, you know. Sometimes I sleep in my van. The van is brilliant for like a festival or, you know, an adventure bike weekend or something like that. But, um, that won't be the case this time, we've got a tent. We'll see how we are with wind noise on this bike, because uh, I'm not used to using uh, you know, uh, the camera at this sort of speed, it's normally up and down the lanes. It's probably all wind noise, but who knows? We could get lucky. I'm now, I'm now going to put the sun visor down, just a little bit, to see if it blocks the wind noise off a little bit. Something like that. Be curious to see what happens. I've also got goggles on as well, which uh, are quite close to the microphone in the helmet, so that could affect it a little bit. I did put some uh, road tyres back on. Bought a new tyre for the rear, which, like I said earlier, got to scrub that in. And put the front row tyre back on because I normally have sort of 50 50 so I can ride a few gravel trails when I go to Spain. Ha ha! Um, not been in been abroad at all for ages because of Covid. So uh, back on the tarmac tyres and I also balance them in the garage, hanging them from uh, the beam of the roof on some string and uh, using the the spindle, the axle if you like, uh, just find the high spots and the low spots and balance them up that way and they seem to be nice, okay, no vibration, handlebars not shaking, look, so uh, I'm happy with that, very happy, but this lower camera down here, I've got a GoPro down here, which it does pick up a lot of vibration although it's got um, oh, stabilization on it picks up a hell of a lot of vibration at certain engine revs I don't think you can get rid of that even with stabilization it just virtually impossible how many miles have I put on these tires I think it's 23 shit mind you I think the, the last ones I I had they scrubbed in at about 40, 45. You can feel them starting to grip up. Well, I must admit the luggage don't really feel any weight there at all, really. I don't suppose there's much more than 25, 30 kilos on there. Um, but, uh, yeah. If I, if I camp with me uh, dirt bike, I can get that down to about 15 kilos, which is pretty good really, but that's only if it's nice weather camping. If it's shit weather, you have to take uh, a lot more stuff. Yeah, the luggage seems okay. Strapped down nicely. 
Another thing I'm trying is the uh, OS maps. I did have OS maps on ViewRanger, which I use all the time for off-road. You know, it's got all the byways and stuff, and UCRs. But uh, I can't seem to upload it again now. ViewRanger wants everyone to turn over to this outdoor, whatever it's called, outdoor something or other. It's a, and it doesn't seem to be catering for, uh, you know, dirt bikes really. So uh, I thought I'd just get OS and I've uh, switched it on tonight for the first time. I've had it on uh, Ordnance Survey, now I've got it on just a normal map and I'm recording my little route. Um, see what happens. Whether I can transfer and use GPX files is another thing. It's all new to me, trying to teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> so regarding the Ordnance Survey app, I managed to record my route tonight and I sent it to a friend as a GPX and he managed to upload it onto ViewRanger sent it via WhatsApp. So it looks like I'm going to give this Ordnance Survey app a go. It's only £23 a year. 45 miles right there, missed up. Forty-five miles on this tire. It feels grippy enough now. So the new tire seems bedded in nicely now and they both seem balanced okay so I'm happy with that. The OS maps, I've shifted the GPX okay to a friend, so yeah, I'll get my head around that, that's not too bad. Power supply for the GoPro is okay, and the GoPro's not too bad. And I think the wind noise on the head cam, yeah, that's okay. I'll keep the visor down a little bit. And the luggage is still there, that's a good sign, yeah. The only thing I could mess it up now is the bloody British weather. <laughs> Fingers crossed.